All right, guys, we're back, and we're gonna do our final part of this sound editing, sound design. This is the digital part. Not quite as big as the drum part, but definitely bigger than the analog part. And I think this one probably has the most scope for sound design because of this, the sheer amount of stuff that's in this. <laughs> Let's go to an init program. Let's hit digital part one and we'll get an init tone. Beautiful. Let's read that tone into the editor. Okay, and now the editor has an init tone in it. I reckon this is a good starting point for anyone to have an init tone. And an init tone, if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, it's basically a sawtooth wave a full open filter. The envelope is set to no attack, no decay, full sustain, no release. The um, rest of it is really irrelevant um, because most other features are turned off. Right, now, turn the effects off. Now obviously the digital part is 64 voice polysynth. So it can be quite cool having such a big polysynth under the engine. Now over on the editor, just a bit of kind of getting yourself used to how the back end or the under the bonnet of the JDXI works. Because the digital part uses the supernatural synth engine, you have three partials per um, for part. In this case, You've got two parts, two digital synths, but you've got three partials inside each of those, and they're here. And those uh, partials can each be turned on and off, and each of them have all of this section here from that, that line there all the way across to the right-hand side. All belongs to each indiv individual partial. You'll see it refresh as I change the screen here. Now, when you're editing, you can do it by partial um, or you can edit all the partials together if you want to combine them uh, that's a nice feature now one thing to remember if you are playing with partials is that you must turn them on so by default only partial one is turned on so if you want to have partial two and partial three turned on you must hit these p2 and p3 on off toggles here Really what we want to do though is we want to bring out some of the stuff that is not obvious. So the partial, I think a lot of people don't even know that that's available. So let's let's do that one first. Let's get a sound. Let's get, uh, yeah, we'll just go with a basic sawtooth on partial one. Partial two, I'm going to go with a square and then I'm going to turn it on. So you can see already it sounds different. Now, what I'm gonna do next on that is I want to slightly detune. And already it gives it that kind of analogy sound. All right, so the difference between it being clean versus detuned. What was it, about eight, wasn't it? There we go. Right, now on partial three, I want to have some noise. Noise, noise, noise. That's noise. So let's turn the other partials off and let's listen to the noise by itself. Now let's turn them all on. Now that sounds horrid. So the first thing we probably want to do is let's get the volume of that noise down and we need to go to the amplifier level section and we're going to go right down. to the point where it doesn't become annoying. Now the other thing I like to do with any noise is I like to filter it. Now the cool thing about these partials is they all have their own independent filter. And in fact, not only that, but they also have these, they've got, uh, th sorry, four low pass filters and the other three. So basically you can 
have ind independent filters and independent filter types per partial. So in this case, I want a high pass filter on the noise. And I want a bit of release on that. It's almost, you can hear now that those square wave and the sawtooth wave are, are disappearing as soon as I left, left the key, but that noise is hanging around, listen. Nice. But I also want to do some funky things to this noise. I want to kind of rough it up a bit. Let's rough it up with some filter depth on the LFO. Now let's listen to it by itself. Uh, might, yeah, I might do it as a square wave. Okay. Hmm, I'll make it a bit longer. Right, now let's turn these other partials on. Hmm, this would be interesting. Let's tempo sync that to one eighth. Right. Now I kind of want to have the same sort of repeating sound on partial two, but I don't want it to be at the same beat. I want it to be slower or faster. We'll see what it sounds like anyway. So let's get an LFO square, and then we compare partials. We want the rate to be synced. We want it to be on a filter, and we want to have a release. crazy. <laughs> what about if we slightly go between? No, it's just crazy, isn't it? What about one twelfth? No, not there. I think one eighth is it. Is I kind of want that note to sound a little bit delayed. I mean, this probably sounds a bit rubbish, but how powerful is this? I've got three sounds through one note, and then I can... I can play that 64 times at the same time. That's crazy. Anyway, let's go back to partial one. Instead of actually having a um, uh, oscillator, let's have a PCM, which is a sample. And we can go through this massive big menu of PCMs. Let's try... It's just getting mad now, isn't it? <laughs> right, now I, I think this needs to come down a bit. Sounds like Art of Noise. <laughs> it's so 
so cool. So not only do we have oscillators, we also have, um, you know, a stack of waveforms to choose from in those oscillators, but we also have these PCM samples that we can choose. And then we can mangle them. We can mangle the absolute living bejesus out of them. So... Let's see what we can do with this waveform here. Hmm. D-tune, D-tune, D-tune. No, it's not really doing it. Uh... Oh, sorry, we're on the wrong partial. See, I make that mistake. Be careful, you can be on the wrong partial. Obviously, we know we're happy with that. We're going to save it, and we're going to call it Dig Dash Sound D Slash Vox. That'll do. Now notice when I play with the filter, it doesn't affect the other partials. So that's the proof that I was telling you earlier about how these can have all different filters. Now that's actually really powerful because you could actually kind of use that almost like you've got two different sounds happening well you do don't you how cool is that um where to go from here well there's a modulation section as well um we can muck around with the pitch filter and amp on the modulation as well um, and then there's the common stuff now the common stuff is portamento now, this analog feel is part of the supernatural thing so I don't really know if it's going to work well with a PCM sound but we'll try it It's definitely doing that sort of D tune sound. So it does work. Wave shape. Well, that just mangles up that wave, doesn't it? Unison works. You can have two, four, six, eight. Ring mod. Ring mod do unfortunately doesn't have a lot of features that we can access. One thing I like about this is that it, the envelope has a loop mode. Now most envelopes are just don't have any loop mode. But I can actually tempo sync my envelope. Let's tempo sync it to something like. Yeah, that's working beautifully. That's that loop mode on the envelope is really good. So basically the tone plays through the envelope and then comes back and starts again and it comes back and starts again at that tempo sync that's really nice well guys sound designing with the JDXI is massive it's such a deep synth and 
you know, I just found out the other day these things were selling for like three ninety nine in the US. It's crazy what this can do for that price. And opening it up with the software just makes it even even better. I you know, if you don't have one of these, I don't think it's gonna break a bank account to get one. They'll sell really well if you if you get sick of it. But I really don't know how you can get sick of a synth that just has so much depth to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little mini series on sound design with the JDXI. I've got possibly another one coming up where I'm asking people to give me some tips about their sound design and what they've discovered. And maybe I can do a video culminating all those tips together. So if you've got a tip, let me know in the comments below. Until then, see you in the next vid. And thanks for watching. Cheers.